drug cartels, arms brokers, money launderers, assassins. Who survives this kind of clientele? Imagine the secrets this guy has. What are you doing here? You know, there's some really just uh, intense uh, fight scenes in this. Ben, you've, you've obviously done a lot of that kind of stuff you know, before. Was there a, a particular kind of sequence or a bit of training in this that was the most kind well, of This was the most intense and realistic, um, you know, version of, the, of, of action I've ever done in a movie. This was very, you know, focused on one specific form of martial arts and, and we had the fights way in advance and so I was really, you know, rehearsing, re practicing and working out to aim at getting that stuff really right. I knew that Gavin had such a high bar for you know, shooting physical stuff in his films is so, done so well and I wanted to be up to the task and luckily I had some time ahead of time to, to work out, to train, to practice, to get the moves down, you know. People do bad things for what they think is a good reason, you know, and we, we can dance around spoilers and stuff like that, but can you talk about sort of that aspect of the character and, and sort of just that aspect of the story overall because he's not the only character that has you know element like that yeah well i think that i think chris has a code so once we understand that and, and understand the you know the humanistic side of this man you sort of get you get caught up in that and and the other thing i would say about christian is if we if we sort of had a you know like a telescope on on his past Every time he ever got into a situation um, and all the different sort of dark corners of the earth that he would be uncooking books, if he got himself in trouble, he would he would just pack up and go. This is the, you know, we, we happen to, you know, we're telling a story where he doesn't pack up and go for very good reason. A girl who struck a fire in his heart was in danger. There was a bounty on her head and, and there's only one person that could have protected her and that was Christian. We should go. It's not so clear cut, you know, it's not about good and bad. Um, it, it, there's a very much a gray area here with all of the characters and you know to me Mary Beth is somebody who does have a strong moral compass and you know we see that challenged and um, you know all of the characters you know I think it's sort of not so easy to identify them as a good guy or bad guy but that's what I think makes the movie so interesting. So you're telling me this guy risks his life doing forensic accounting for some of the scariest people on the planet, collects his fee, goes to all the trouble of laundering it, and then gives almost all of it away. Well, what if he's taking other means of payment? One of the, the, the sort of story aspects of this movie that I liked is that, you know, there's the idea of second chances, and that certainly comes into play with your character. Can you tell us a little bit about what that, you know, about that and how it pertains to Ray King. Uh, that is a, a wonderful aspect of the story uh, regarding my character and, and, and other characters in, in the movie. And, and I want to say as little as possible about almost everything in the movie. <laughs> it's such a weird movie to try and you know promote because, because I love it and I, and I just want to say, go see the movie. Don't, I don't want to tell you anything about it because it's complex. And it's not just that there are plot twists that hopefully surprise people, but but there are levels and aspects of, of characters, including mine, that that will uh, surprise and and, uh, um, and puzzle people. Puzzle. I love the puzzle uh, logo. You know, it's a, it's a puzzle of a movie on on a lot of levels. So who is he? The accountant. Like a CPA accountant? Not quite. <laughs>